So I this I made this in a few hours. It's a train. Uh, <laughs> It's pretty simple. I mean, it's just a bunch of models I made. And then, uh, this part is something that's pretty cool. Uh, this right here, uh, because there's no actual geometry. It's just a single car. But since I have a, I have a material here which is just a glossy with zero roughness, and it mirrors it perfectly on both ends, so it looks like it goes on forever. And it's a, I made a train car. Uh, there's not much walk room here. So. Uh, I think for the glass texture, I, uh, I yeah, I like that train. I could lay down and sleep. Uh, the glass texture is a cheat. I have two. Uh, I have two versions of it. One's for if you're looking at it. Uh, from with the ca camera or a glossy texture. Uh, and the other one is for just lighting in general. Uh, I have two different versions of it so that uh, the camera view doesn't look like uh, if I, you can, well, it's not actually that. Uh, you can see it's a lot brighter here, which is not what I was going for. And uh, it's, the lighting should still be the same on pretty much everything, but uh, it looks a lot more less blown out. I also did that for uh, these blue glowing things because uh, they were, if you could see them normally, that they, they just look like this and they wouldn't, uh, like they actually look like something here instead of just being uh, kind of a blue glowing. And the window, I used a cheat where, uh, like if you see the background here, isn't actually a sky. And if I add that material here, it's, uh, it's, acts like it's, uh, outside, but it's not actually. And how I did that is I, uh, mixed on a mission using ink. Uh, I here. Let's just shade a mission. I have a uh, mission with the incoming. Uh, let me change this perspective. It was already a perspective. Incoming as the uh, vector, and I have a sky texture that uses that vector. And now it looks as if, if you're looking through a window. And I mix that with a uh, glossy texture. So, let's, so this is. I did. Oh no, I. Huh? Why is that not. And, well, okay, you can see it here. So it looks. And I, uh, right here, how I did the uh, mixing for camera and glossy only is I used the light path node, uh, used the math node, set it to maximum, so it takes whichever one is bigger. And it is camera and is glossy, got the maximum, I used the maximum of those, and using that to drive a mix shader. So uh, the, bottom, the bottom slot is if it is not the camera or glossy. The, no, the top slot is it's not camera glossy, and the bottom slot is if it is. Mm -mm. Uh, so, to everything else, it's not actually a glossy shader, it's just an emission with the strength of six, I think. But here, I think it, uh, and you can see that if I go like this, and it doesn't have glossy, but that's not actually apparent unless there's Okay, I just moved that cube way away. Uh, don't know 
like you can see. No, this is a different thing, sorry. The door is something else completely. If I just open the file and add that to... Sorry if I'm... Uh, sky texture is similar, but... So this should... This is glossy, as you can see there. And if I... This is what it would look like otherwise. So it's uh, just a way of cheating, like there's a window there. And in theory, I could do this with the environment map too, but I don't have one. Is there one on this computer? Uh, oh yeah, see about February HDR. Okay. So input. Oh no, I already just had that on there. Okay. Side up, and I can also uh, do a sky texture. Uh, colors in there. Negative one for each. Should have done something, but it didn't. Okay, so that's the train thing. 